So this uh, video is about um, halal meat. So lots of comments. People saying you should research um, about halal foods and so on. Halal meat. Moderate halal is different. Before you needed at least one higher to bless it. Now they have a picture of said higher. I don't know what they're talking about. What does higher mean? Made me laugh. Halal is all you see in terrorists' videos beheading, beheading journalists. Since when is that halal, really? Look at the hate speech here. Idolatry is strictly forbidden. That's why we don't have statues or pictures of anyone. True. So, um... Somebody, Michelle Johnson, I disliked her comment. She said, well, yes, they torture that animal. It is a ritual blessing. All halal is a ritual blessing in my belief. You cannot have halal. It is food blessed to another god. Allah is blank. I'm not going to say that word. Somebody said bullshit. Yeah. And she says, believe me or not, inform yourself or not, it is the way it is. Okay, this is someone replying to Michelle Johnson, um, Nadim Sisek, I think Turkish person or um, maybe Slovenian or something. But of course you can ignore the evidence if you want to, but it won't be of any use to you or anyone. Yep, a horrible way to put fear into what you plan on eating. If they can't even have food peaceable, what do you think they are about? What nonsense. Okay, people, everybody used to eat meat before. I'm sure uh, lots of people like this guy Alvin Wine, okay, maybe he's a, a vegan or something or a vegetarian, but maybe his grandparents used to eat meat and most people had no problem eating meat in the West before. So this is just a new trend for a few, you know, decades now. Maybe since the 60s, uh, people stopped eating meat as much as they used to, right? More people became vegan and so on and vegetarian. Everybody used to eat meat before. Nobody had a problem with it. Okay, so this is just BS. Um, they're saying that their grandparents were uh, sadistic and uh, torturing animals. Basically, that's what they're saying. Right. I know a couple of religions where it's prohibited to kill animals. So bad I practice one of those hateful religions. And he's just laughing, you know, about Islam and people who eat meat. Somebody said, shut the blank up. Muslims do acknowledge Jesus, peace be upon him, and he is considered to be one of the mightiest messengers of God. But not God Himself. Yes. So Jesus is one of the strong uh, five strong prophets in Islam: Moses, Jesus, um, Abraham, Noah, uh, Muhammad, and maybe I missed one. Yes. Um, so there are five strong prophets in Islam. Jesus is one of them, and also is Muhammad. Yes, we do acknowledge Jesus and essentially believe in the same God. When you want to generate conflict, but there's nothing to fight about, truth hurts. Oh, well, your teachings contradict Jesus' teachings. Uh, no, it's your, your teachings contradict Jesus. Somebody said, do you want to call a crusade on me already? I hope you realize and read the message and don't just dismiss it right away. Have a nice day. So um, this lady, Anne Dunn, she said, letting an animal slowly bleed to death in abject terror is not only inhumane, but it doesn't give Islam a gold star in any capacity. We are a nation of animal lovers. Islam is not. I would never dream of joining this belief system. No reason on earth would ever be good enough for me to abdicate my humanity for this barbary. Okay, so I answered her. Somewhere I said, um, I said, okay, where is it? 
People are ignorant about Islam but want to criticize it. Okay, it said Michelle Johnson, Allah is... Um, Allah is God, moron. Okay. I said, Alvin, wine, you don't eat meat then. It's only recently in history people started avoiding meat. By vegan and vegetarian standards, all their ancestors and probably parents or grandparents were murderers and evil. And a laughing face, laughing and crying. Not all non-Muslims are that judgy and self-righteous, I told Nadim Sisek. Okay. I told someone they have their own books, so leave them be. You know, it's better not to preach hate, yet Christians and Muslims are very close. I mean, yes, Christians and Muslims are very close, yet we find many extremists hating each other's religion. Um, peace. And done. Bleed to death? The blood is coming out after the animal is dead. That's why the jugular vein had to be cut. Seriously, your comment is so stupid. Okay, she thinks Islamic slaughter means you're letting the animal bleed to death. It's not bloodletting. You, you slaughter the animal quickly by cutting the jugular vein. It dies and then you, you hang it up so the meat will uh, will be hanging up and the blood will come out. Okay, That's why the jugular vein is cut and, and you want to have that animal uh, you know, hanging so the blood will come out. Okay, It's already dead. There's no slow death. She doesn't know what she's talking about. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Bloodstone. I call him a liar. I love animals. My dog is my best friend. I'm against halal slaughter since I'm against animal cruelty. Wow. But my point was that kosher slaughter is 20 times worse than halal. They purposely tortured the animals, causing them intense fear and pain and agony. I've never heard this. I don't know how uh, Jewish people slaughter their animals. Maybe that's just hate speech. I don't know. Jesus says it is okay for a Jew to marry and have sex with a three-year-old child. Oh, okay. I, because I read from the, the middle of the sentence. They worship the satanic Talmud, he says. And then he says, which speaks blasphemy against Jesus. Okay. And then he says, uh, it is okay for a Jew to marry and have sex with a three-year-old child. I, um, I don't think that's true. Probably um, you could uh, do a marriage contract with uh, anybody, basically, and then you could have the marriage later. Anyway, we don't see Jews marrying three-year-olds. So I think that's just hate speech. People should stop hating on Jews, okay? Whatever their book says, uh, we know that Jews are not doing that, right? I see a lot of Christians, unfortunately, um, you know, being like uh, anti-Semitic or, you know, anti-Jewish, unfortunately. So I give that lady, uh, Michelle, I give her the award for the stupidest comment today and probably um, this whole month, except for like really bad hate comments, those are worse.